imagine a general so formidable that even his enemies admired him centuries after his death. This is the story of Hannibal Barker, the Carthaginian commander whose tactical brilliance during the Second Punic War left an indelible mark on history. Born into a legacy of conflict with Rome, Hannibal rose beyond the expectations of his time, challenging an empire and forever changing the art of warfare. What drove this ancient genius to undertake one of the most audacious military campaigns ever? How did his strategies outsmart the might of Rome? And what can we learn from his legacy today? Join us as we explore the life of Hannibal Barker, the mastermind of the ancient battlefield, whose strategies are studied by military leaders to this day. From the bustling streets of Carthage, a young Hannibal emerged, destined to become one of the greatest military minds of the ancient world. Born in 247 BC into a family esteemed for its military prowess, Hannibal was the son of Hamilcar Barca, a renowned general in his own right. From a tender age, Hannibal was immersed in the art of war, learning not only the tactics of battle, but also the importance of diplomacy and the art of leadership. His father's legacy was a war with Rome that had not favored Carthage. Yet, Hannibal's aspirations soared beyond mere vengeance. He sought to secure Carthage's place in the world, a vision that led him to the Iberian Peninsula. Here, Hannibal expanded Carthaginian territory, showcasing his strategic ingenuity and earning the loyalty of his troops. But it was his bold decision to cross the Alps, facing nature's wrath alongside his formidable army and war elephants. That truly marked Hannibal's ascent into legend. This audacious move wasn't just a show of strength. It was a testament to his unyielding will to create a new future for Carthage, challenging Rome's supremacy on its own soil. The Second Punic War was not just a conflict. It was the stage for Hannibal's military genius to shine. His name became synonymous with tactical brilliance, starting with his daring journey across the Alps in 218 BC. This feat, deemed impossible by many, was just the beginning. Hannibal's army, though diminished by the harsh conditions of the Alps, emerged into Italy ready to challenge Rome's dominance. The Battle of Trebia was Hannibal's first major encounter with the Roman legions on Italian soil. Using the element of surprise and his deep understanding of the terrain, Hannibal orchestrated a masterful victory that set the tone for his campaigns in Italy. But it was at Lake Trasimini and Cannae where his strategic prowess truly came to the fore. At Lake Trasimini, Hannibal ambushed the Romans using the fog and the landscape to his advantage, resulting in one of the most significant defeats for Rome. Yet it was the Battle of Cannae where Hannibal's genius was most evident. Facing a significantly larger Roman force, Hannibal employed a double envelopment tactic, encircling and annihilating the Roman army. This victory was not just a tactical triumph, but a masterpiece of military strategy demonstrating Hannibal's ability to predict and manipulate his enemy's movements. These battles showcased not only Hannibal's tactical ingenuity, but also his leadership and the unwavering loyalty of his troops. Despite facing a more numerous and resource-rich adversary, Hannibal's strategies led to a series of victories that humbled the mighty Roman Republic and left a lasting legacy on military strategy. Hannibal Barker's military campaigns are a masterclass in strategic ingenuity and tactical innovation. His victories were not just born out of sheer force, but from his deep understanding of warfare, psychology and terrain. Hannibal knew the importance of morale, surprise and adaptability, principles that underpinned his every move. Adaptability and use of terrain. Hannibal's crossing of the Alps is a prime example of his adaptability. Facing natural barriers that would deter most, he turned these obstacles into advantages. In battles, he used the terrain to enhance his smaller forces' effectiveness, as seen at Lake Trasimene, where he used fog and the lake's geography to trap and defeat the Roman army. Psychological warfare. Hannibal was adept at psychological tactics, often using fear and surprise to unsettle his opponents. His unexpected appearance in Italy, after crossing the Alps with elephants, struck fear into the hearts of the Romans, showcasing his flair for dramatic and unforeseen strategies. Innovative tactics. The Battle of Cannae stands as a testament to Hannibal's tactical brilliance. By drawing in the Roman forces and enveloping them with a weaker center and stronger flanks, 
he executed one of the most successful encirclements in military history. This not only resulted in a devastating defeat for the Romans, but also demonstrated the power of flexibility and innovative thinking in battle. Hannibal's strategies were not merely about winning battles, they were about outthinking his opponent at every turn. His legacy teaches us the importance of understanding the enemy, utilizing the environment, and never underestimating the element of surprise. Through his campaigns, Hannibal has left an indelible mark on the study of military strategy, proving that with ingenuity and insight, even the most formidable adversaries can be overcome. Hannibal Barker's impact on history extends far beyond his battles and tactics. His legacy is a testament to the power of strategic thought and the enduring influence of innovative military leadership, despite ultimately not achieving his goal of dismantling the Roman Republic. Hannibal's campaign significantly weakened Rome and inspired future generations of military leaders. Enduring military influence, Hannibal's strategies and tactics have been studied and admired by military leaders throughout history, from the Roman generals who sought to learn from their adversary, to modern-day strategists who still analyze his battles for insights into warfare. His approach to strategy, emphasizing flexibility, psychological warfare, and the element of surprise, remains relevant in military doctrines around the world. Cultural and historical legacy beyond the battlefield. Hannibal has become a symbol of resistance against overwhelming odds. His journey across the Alps has been immortalized in literature, art, and popular culture, representing the epitome of daring and determination. Hannibal's story is a reminder of the impact one individual can have on the course of history, challenging empires and reshaping the geopolitical landscape of their time. Reflection on leadership and strategy Hannibal's legacy also serves as a study in leadership and the complexities of strategic planning. His ability to inspire loyalty, make decisive moves, and adapt to changing circumstances are qualities that transcend military contexts, offering lessons for leaders in various fields. Hannibal Barker stands as one of the greatest military minds, whose life and campaigns continue to inspire awe and admiration. His legacy is not just in the battles he won, but in the indelible mark he left on the art of war, proving that strategic genius and innovative tactics can alter the fate of nations. As we reach the end of our journey, through the life and legacy of Hannibal Barker, it becomes clear that his story is not just one of ancient history, but of timeless principles of leadership, strategy and resilience. Hannibal challenged an empire, pushed the boundaries of what was considered impossible and left a legacy that transcends millennia. His strategic genius, while not always leading to ultimate victory, forced Rome to adapt, innovate and ultimately become the formidable empire it is remembered as today. Hannibal's life teaches us the power of vision, the importance of adaptability and the impact one individual can have on the world. Thank you for joining us in exploring the extraordinary life of Hannibal Barker. If you've been inspired by the story of this ancient strategist, please share, like, subscribe and comment below with your thoughts. Stay tuned for more tales of history's greatest minds and the lessons they offer for our own lives. This is History Replay This Day. See you in the next episode.